Hello, paper crafters. Thought I'd start out with a little surprise here. Do you see him? There's my baby. Uh, Buddy's doing good. He goes to the vet this Monday, and hopefully we get good news that the bed rest has been restricted. He's in there. Can you find him? Um, and can you see Bud's common theme in stuffed animals? Very common theme there. And believe me, we have about 50 of these, and yes, they're all the same color. White, off-white, beige. Uh, Bud likes them to look like him. But there he is, guys. I thought it would make some of you smile. Many of you, and my, my husband and I and my dad, we all appreciate it. Same prayers for Bud and my dad. And um, just uh, always asking how he's doing. So nothing better than to see him uh, in person so you can get a good look at how he's doing. Bud, hey, can you lift up your head, baby? Can you lift up your head? Oh, we're tired. We're still, his tail's wagging. There's his tail going. Uh, he loves his bears, so he's happy. All right, let's get to what we have for sale here. I'm going to put my hand there so I don't make y'all motion sickness here. All right, let's see. Let's get on to the good stuff here. Well, that was pretty good, I think, too, but I'm prejudiced a little bit. Okay. I got for you some new Mary Ann Creatables dies. And there's a set of three. And of course, if you buy the three, it'll be cheaper. This first one, I'm going to kind of block the light to get rid of the glare there. This is number LR0156. Um, these are all just cuttable dies, which is a nice change. We don't have to emboss these. And I did do them in the, um, the mirror card stock. I did the samples up. This one I did in plain paper, and you can kind of see, I'm going to go in there a little bit. And that's just some plain purple paper. Bring it up a little bit close. You can kind of see, just plain. Then I did it in the mirror cardstock, which all of you like. Some of you call it foil cardstock, but it just has a really nice, just adds a little flair to it. I, I'm going to definitely be buying some more of that for myself. Many of you ask me where I get that. Uh, I get mine at Michael's, online, anywhere. Just look up mirror cardstock. That's kind of what it's usually under. And here are the gorgeous leaves. These leaves are so nice. Um, they look like rose um, bush leaves to me. But I'm just going to get this one out of here for the moment so you can kind of see the full, just how pretty that is. Gosh, just, just that in a card. Simple, easy, it doesn't get much, you know, more elegant than that. I'm gonna, just so you can kind of see how, let's see here. There, just how nicely that comes out. So elegant, so pretty, and again, that would just make such a really beautiful card. Okay, so that's the first set. And um, Marianne was very clever with this set. She took the three hottest dyes, and that's what she made for this release. And if you're asking what's hot, it's flowers, butterflies, and filigree. So here's the filigree one. Um, let me pull it out right here. And again, let me block the light so the glare isn't on the paper there. There, you can kind of see. And again, I'll have pictures of these on my blog, too, just of the item. And this one makes some really... Oh, the number for this one is LR0157. And one of these is makes this really cool... I don't know, I'm thinking lupine. I might be wrong with my flowers. My mom would be so disappointed in me. Um, and it's just, it's really pretty. And I just think of anything with an outdoor scene. If you had, oh, sorry, our power keeps dimming and going here. We're having a really bad storm. So I hope I make it through this video before uh, I lose all my lights. Um, and you can kind of see that it looks, I, I think, uh, any scene with a stamped deer or a rabbit or just something stitched. Uh, for those of you that are stitch, stitch, um, do the stitching on cards, one of my favorite techniques, you can just see how pretty and how, how beautiful that looks. And again, these are just straight cuts, no embossing involved, which is nice for a change. One less step. Then the other die that it makes 
is this really everyone likes these kind of Anja style things now again with the stitching these are so pretty um, they just kind of add an elegance with the design here and this is that uh, little extra and then I put another one kind of you could make a nice border for a card there that looks really pretty if you can kind of see how that goes that would be so pretty on a card okay and then the last one is these little guys right here again let me try to block out so you can kind of see and that is number LR0158 and it's butterflies oh I I can't keep butterflies in everybody wants butterflies and I was talking with one lady who I am um, Sally Ann who does beautiful stitching and she likes uh, she bought my butterfly punches and she was so excited because she said butterflies cover up mistakes or boo-boos and I thought what a really great idea because a butterfly can just about go on anywhere or anything and so I thought yep that's probably uh, you know one of the reasons they're so popular is you can just kind of stick them anywhere and again with the a lot of the popular flower designs too it makes it even you know that much more popular so just kind of showing you how pretty those come out and detailed and of course with butterflies I didn't do it for a sample but I always like to take two and then put one on top of the other and fold up the wings of the top one kind of like like this and give it dimension and then that bottom one is there for the for the um, baseline um, to add to the card and it's they're just nice because butterflies wings are made I think to go up I always do it on my cards and then I'll send people a note to crimp it when they get it in the mail if it's not a card I'm handing in person so that's it sweet and simple release um, I am on vacation this week uh, so if I don't respond to you right away we have lots of appointments for Bud and my dad and maybe my husband and I even take a day ride if Bud gets cleared to go for a ride in the car so don't worry if I don't respond right away but if I don't respond within 48 hours email me again things have been happening with my emails and I'm not quite sure where they're going um, I know some of it is me and I know some of it is my customers and between the two of us I, I don't want people to ever think I'm ignoring usually I get back within 24 hours if not please email me again you will not bother me the other thing just to let you know um, anytime you see any of the Holland dies or um, crafts and you're wondering if I have them and you're patiently waiting but you're waiting on a project email me I might have it um, you know I I sell best by doing these videos so sometimes I'm sitting on stock because I just don't have enough time in the day to get everything out to you and do what I want and I will happily um, pull it out or give you an update and tell you where we stand with a time frame um, it's not in the United States yet or I can't even get it yet or you know email me back in three weeks or a month but many times I might have it and I'm getting it ready for a video see it's a lot more involved than just um, making the video I have to figure out all my expenses that go into these stamps and then try to get you the best price I can offer my markup is very low um, and that's why I think I have the following I do it's a very small business so again be patient with me it's a side job and it's just I'm a little teeny business and with just me and my husband so if um, if you have any of those ones you're waiting for for that special project um, email me and I'll, I'll see what I can do hope you're all well Bud says goodbye I say goodbye thank you everyone for watching and I'll talk to you later take care